Hi, my name is Melissa Shannon and I'm from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com. Today I'm here to show you how to create a spray mist look on your digital scrapbook layouts. We're going to use a brush to achieve this effect. So the first thing we need to do is to download a brush. You can find a lot of free Photoshop brushes online but I've also included links to some spray paint brushes that you may be interested in for this technique. Click on Edit, Preset Manager and be sure the preset type is Brushes. I'm going to click Load and then Load My Brushes. Now that I've loaded up all my spray brushes I'm going to click Done. Now the next thing I'm going to do before I actually start painting on my paper which by the way is from Flerg's November Afternoon Kit. I'm going to click New Layer. That way I won't be damaging the background layer and I can easily undo anything I do. I will choose a bright green colour by double clicking on the foreground colour and dragging and adjusting until I'm happy with the colour. Use a bright green so that you can easily see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to select my brush tool from the toolbox Go up to the options bar, click on that little down arrow, and if I scroll down to the very bottom, I can see all my brushes. Now, if your icons aren't big like this, you can click on this double arrow and click large thumbnail, and that will allow you to more easily see all of the brushes in your collection here. So, I think I'm going to use this brush here. I'll just click on that one. Double click. And now at this point, I can resize my brush by clicking the right square bracket or the left square bracket to make it larger or smaller as I like. And then just one click, and I've got a spray effect. Now, obviously, if you repeated this several times on your layout, you can come up with different effects. But it may also look a bit repetitious. That's why I love having lots of different spray brushes to use. I've got a bit of a less splattery spray that I can use to get more of an all over spray look. Now at any point you can adjust the blend mode to get a different effect with your mist or you can change the opacity to give you a more transparent paint coverage. So I'll show you that technique again. We create a new layer, we select our brush tool, we select the spray brush that we want to use, we resize it up or down using the left and right square bracket one click and it's done. We have a lovely spray. We can adjust the blend modes to get a different sort of effect and the opacity if we just want to dial back the opacity of the paint. So now you can see I have this lovely semi-transparent misted spray effect on my layout. Would you like to see more Photoshop Elements video tutorials? Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.